Hi, uh, it's Michael here again. Today I'll be going through a little bit about how we do the user software to do the recording. So here I have the, the recording gear set up for set one. So you see on the left, uh, we have our Ava Media Live Gamer Portable and we have our Q2 HD, which is set up to record uh, the speaker. So the, the Ava Media has grabbed the screen of the presenter. So I'm using my laptop here on my Mac on the right to as the presenter screen. So that's coming into the Ava Media to, to grab the screen. And then I'll be using the, the Q2 HD as uh, a video recorder to record the, the audio as well as to capture the speaker speaking. So next I'll go through the steps about using the software. OBSproject.com, you'll find it open broadcaster software. So it comes first as a Windows software, Windows uh, download. Um, and recently they went and rewrite the software just for the uh, other platforms like OS X and Linux. Um, the functionality tends to be a little bit different, but today I'll just be focusing on the Windows edition. The open broadcaster software looks like this. It's a, basically, it's, so it starts first with the, with the different scenes you can set up. You need scene, you can include sources. So for the Windows version, there's a concept of global source. So I'm using global sources here. Um, there's a couple of sources already set up, the Q2 HD, even media, screen capture. For my recordings, I also use a background, just so in case when I do an overlay or picture in picture, I can use a background to kind of show off, uh, to show something interesting in the background, usually a gray background uh, with the Engineers SG logo. Uh, splash screen, usually the first screen that appears. Sometimes I also have a couple of cameras uh, connected to this setup. So, but, so, which is for example the Q4 camera. Um, but the, today I will just be using one camera and one screen capture too. Right, so that's how it will basically look like. So once these things are set up, you can click on preview to basically see the, what's going on. So the first thing that shows up is a splash screen. So you can see the splash screen on the left. And then you click on picture in picture overlay. It shows you, right now it shows me the desktop on my Macintosh. And of course it shows me my own screen. Uh, so it uh, shows me the, the video camera, which is the Q2 HD. So you can also see the levels are going up and down, which tells me that it's actually recording audio right now. So it, would be, it may look a little bit um, interesting. So this is one of so the we can basically set it up one by one. You can edit scenes, move these squares around. If you want to add new sources, you can do this as well. So you click on you can click on you can right click here, add global sources, and say I'll uh, add a now uh, add a second camera. So I can have two cameras on the same screen, right? Okay, of course we're just using one right now, so let's remove that. Okay, so there will only be one screen, uh, the picture in picture. These all have been laid out uh, one by one. So I'm going to show you an example right now by laying out a new one. So I click on add scene, give it a name. It starts out as empty. So next one, you right click on the sources, tab, global sources. Same way, add a background. Right, so the background is here, right click, and I say fit to screen, right, you can see this. Add some more. Uh, let's say I'll add uh, another global source, which would be, say, the Ava Media. Right, so you tell me what's going on. And then I'll add one more, which is the video. So the Q2 HD camera. So I can resize this and move it to a, to the corner so it can be a, now a proper picture in picture, right? Yeah, so this is how I pretty much set it up. Audio-wise, it's uh, also pretty straightforward. 
So you click on settings and click on audio. So it tells me I'm using the default audio of the computer. So whatever is coming in is actually being recorded. Um, so you can also check this by going to back to this one, the recording devices. Make sure the Q2HD or whatever we, is set as the default and you should really use that for recording uh, the audio, audio channels. So right now, um, yeah, so we have splash screen, uh, picture in picture overlay, without overlaying, and only a screen only, so you want to just show what's on the screen, you know, you can just click on play here, and now we sh basically showing a, a presentation slide. You can also do it the other way around, which is video focused, so the video is uh, uh, focused on you, and then uh, the screen is uh, on somewhere in the corner, or the video only. So this is what you can do. This is the preview. So preview doesn't actually mean you're recording, you'll just be previewing the stream. Uh, so to, in order to actually do a recording, you just click on start recording to actually start recording it. You could also set up a video streaming to YouTube, which I'll cover in a different episode. So right now we'll start to start recording. Well, check the, well, check out the recording settings. You can go to settings uh, and check out encoding to tell me what kind of encoding is possible on this screen. Usually on this computer, I'll just set like 2,500 uh, kilobits for rather high, de high definition. Um, the video wise, I've set it to 720p. Uh, so that I can capture uh, pretty much everything I need. You can also set up hotkeys so that you can switch between scenes easily. Uh, and many others here. Well, you go with the basic defaults. So you start and click on start recording. So this is how I usually start the recording by showing first the splash screen. And then I go on to over to the picture in picture, which would have uh, the me, me, the presenter, just talking in a corner. And this is a picture in picture format with a talking head at the bottom right, followed by uh, the screen on the left. So, in some places, sometimes you can actually do an overlap like this. With an overlap, it also makes it a little bit easier to, I mean, it makes it better to capture what's on the, on the full screen, um, which is kind of cool. So, and then you could also do a screen only, where if there's a lot of activity, go activity going on, on on the screen, you want to give the most focus on what the presenter is showing on the screen, we'll use this. This is very good for like a demo, Right, so I'm, I'm doing a software demo and I'm, sh I'm showing off some code. Um, I can use this to kind of uh, just focus on the presentation, presentation slide or the presenter's com computer. I'll switch to video only if I, usually during the Q&A, so that uh, because at this point the, the presentation slides don't matter that much anymore. Uh, so it's a Q&A session and I'll just focus on the, on the video and let the presenter just continue with it. I might even switch over to uh, this, this format, which is the picture-in-picture picture with the slides off in the corner. So this what this does is that you, if your presenter is gesticulating or talking about certain things or drawing on a whiteboard, uh, but you still want to have the presentation slides or something around the corner. So for example, something like this, where you have some big bullet points on the screen uh, and you want the presenter to be able to just uh, have some presentation, talk about something, you know, like he'll you gesture with his hand or he'll be showing off a hardware like a phone or something or he'll be like, oh yeah, this particular thing is going on, da da da, so this is, so basically a, this, this, this is kind of good for that, as in you want him to show off a physical component or something that's happening at the same time, capture um, the presentation bullet points. So there's some of the things you can do. Now, of course, the video only. And once the presentation is over, uh, I'll switch to black just to fade out. That's a, that's a pseudo fade out and I'll stop recording. Right. 
So uh, in a nutshell, that's what it is. And to get find your recordings, you I go to File, Open Recording Folder. You find all the video recordings that was recorded before. If I open this, uh, I should be able to play back. So this is how I usually start the recording, but it's showing the first the splash, um, the, the presenter, the stocking in the corner. It's a picture in picture format. Right, so that's the, the video. And then that video can be uploaded to, to the, will be uploaded eventually to uh, engineers.sg. Yep, that's all for recording, uh, for the introduction to open broadcaster software.